What's up YouTube? Today we're going to take a look at legal problem number 1571, Warehouse Manager. Mark is easy. Let's get into it. So we have two tables, one called Warehouse and one called Products. Warehouse contains the name of the warehouse, and then Products ID and Units. Each row of this table contains the information of the products in each warehouse. So we know how many units of which products are in which warehouse. Then for products, we have product ID, product name, width, length, and height of that product. Each row of the table contains this information in feet of each product. So the unit is feet. Our task is to write an SQL query to report how many cubic feet of volume does the inventory occupy in each warehouse. Warehouse name, volume should be the fields we output, and that can be done in any order. It should look something like this, warehouse name, volume, warehouse name being LC house 1, 2 and 3 and then the volume, which would be calculated by length times width times height. Then we also need to keep in mind that we can have several units of the same products and then in the end we need to sum all of these products up as in the example below the result table. Let's get into coding that up. By the way, if we take a look at the company's tags, down here we see this question is actually being asked by Amazon right now, which makes perfect sense because it's about warehouse logistics and how much space you have left in a warehouse, how much more storage do you have available and whether you should invest in a new warehouse or something like this. So it's a very real problem and it's currently being asked by Amazon. So a good way to approach these problems is to look at the output table and then reverse engineer what you need to get that. So we have a warehouse name in here which is the name in the warehouse table and we have volume in here. Volume is width times length times height in here. So we're going to start out by selecting name as warehouse name and then for volume we want to use the formula of width times length times height and then also make sure we're also adding units as a factor because the entire volume of the product depends on how many units of the product you have. Okay, so that will be called volume and now to get the sum of all these product volumes just going to use the sum function here and don't forget to group by warehouse name in the end. But first we need to make that join warehouse and products and we're joining that on product ID since that is the only column that is in both tables. So warehouse of product ID is products of product ID and as I said we can't forget to group by name. Okay and this will give us the volume of all products multiplied by the amount of units for each of these products and then we just take the sum of these grouped by the warehouse so we get the entire sum of all products volume in each warehouse. And that's pretty much it for that problem. Let's submit that as well. Hope it made sense. If you want to see more of these videos, make sure to subscribe to get these videos in your sub feed. And I also have playlists based on each difficulty of lead code database problems. So you can browse video solutions by lead code difficulty, which will be a nice way to keep studying at your own pace and select some of these videos based on difficulty. Hope I'll see you in one of the other videos. Until then, 